Hey what is going on guys, it is SuperbTube here and welcome back to another video. I know it's been absolutely ages since I've uploaded guys, but don't worry, I'm back now and I'm going to be making tons of videos, so if you want to hear about what's going to be happening to the future of this channel, please stick to the end of the video. But for those of you who just want to watch this, uh, then it's going to be really short, this is such an easy glitch to do, so you can get infinite space in your settlements. So before we get into the video guys, please do consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. I have made quite a few Fallout videos in the past and I plan on making a bunch more in the future. Um, so let's get straight into the glitch. So guys, the first thing you want to do is head over to any of your settlements. It literally can be any settlement um, and... If you're like me, you're like building up your settlements, you're like having loads of stuff in them. The game, the base game, it just, it can't handle my creativity. It probably can't handle yours either, right? Um, and you'll end up with a full settlement. And you'll know this when you try and build something, it'll say nothing more can be built. And the only way to build things now is scrapping things you've already made. And this can be quite frustrating because you're looking for something that you don't really want to scrap but just something that you have to scrap so you can build your next project but this glitch allows you to build an unlimited amount of things in your settlement and it's so easy it literally takes five seconds so what you want to do is head over to your workbench and you want to make sure that you have some things in your inventory whether that be weapons or apparel or aid or whatever i'm going to be using weapons in this because it's the easiest thing to sort out when you go into the workshop like you're not going to have weapons in the workshop if you get what I'm saying, but you, li you can literally use anything, like anything, as long as you can drop it on the floor. So what you want to do is go into your inventory and drop all of the things that you want to be dropping. It, nothing will happen to these, don't worry, they won't disappear or anything. You're just going to be using them for this glitch. So once you've dropped all your items on the floor, guys, what you want to do is go into the workshop mode, uh, and all you want to do is store all of the items that you've just dropped inside the workshop. Now make sure you don't scrap them, because... Oof, I've almost done that a few times. Uh, I've almost scrapped my Fat Man or some of my other weapons and I've been almost in tears. So please make sure you do not scrap the items, make sure you store them. And as you can see, as you're storing them, if you look in the top right corner of the screen, you will see that the settlement, the amount of stuff that's in it is decreasing because the game thinks that these were already part of the settlement when in actuality you've just dropped them on the floor. So once you've stored them guys, literally all you have to do is rinse and repeat. Go into the workshop and take your items back, drop them again, store them back, go in the workshop and you can get an unlimited amount of settlement space. So you can literally go all the way down to where that the game thinks you have nothing built in the settlement when you actually have a full one. It's super duper easy and that is literally the glitch guys. So, thank you so much for watching this glitch. If you do just want to watch the glitch bit, you know, that's the end of the video for you guys. But for those of you who want to stick around and listen to what's going to be happening to the channel in the future, then please do stay. And if, even if you're thinking about, you know, I don't care, I just want to listen to the glitch, stay because you you, you want to, right? I'm, I'm telling you. So, uh, I haven't uploaded since January, which seems like absolutely ages ago. And I kept telling myself, I'm going to upload, I'm going to upload, but I just... I, couldn't be bothered for one which sounds really bad um but also i have had a lot of pressure put on me because um basically school is getting quite difficult or it had been quite difficult because now i have a lot of free time i'm not completely off for the summer but there's no exams anymore so that is very good all i have to do now is finish a bit of my work and then i have two and a bit months off to make videos so that will be very fun so what i think i'm going to be focusing on is doing fallout mods and skyrim mods videos because uh i noticed that a lot of youtubers when you look at a mod video you know you see some really cool mods you're like wow that looks sick um, and if you're like me you don't play on pc you play on console some of the mods you see you get really excited you want to download them and then you realize they're only on the nexus and not on bethesda.net so you get really bummed out uh, and think that the Xbox is poo, which it is a bit, but it's, it's, no, it's not that poo. So I play it on the Xbox exclusively, so the videos that I make when I do mods, um, I want to find mods that are sort of only for, I want to find mods that are only for consoles, like, because I can only find mods that are for consoles. So if you do play on console, then um, I'm going to be showing you the mods that I use that a lot of YouTubers don't know about because they use, you know, mods exclusive to PC and not for Xbox, so I think I'll be bringing something new to the table there. If you are excited for that, then make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and like this video, because it'll make me feel very good. Um, I also want to thank everyone who's been subscribing and watching my videos. Like, when I uploaded that video uh, back in January, the first video that I made, I was... I, I didn't think it would get that many views. Um, I have had channels in the past where I think the highest amount of views I've ever got was uh, 10,000 10, views 
um, on some really shit tutorial. It was, oh, I don't know how it got 10,000 views. But the video that I did in January has 50 or almost, it's got 49,000 views, so almost 50,000 views. And I, I actually am flabbergasted at such an achievement. I genuinely thank you so much for every single person who watched that video. And we're actually on 700 subscribers. Like, what? The most, the, the most amount of subscribers I've ever had on any channel before uh, is 300, and that was when I was 12, so thank you very much, and I really do want to pursue um, YouTube and try and build a really big channel, like, that's been a dream of mine, seriously, since I've been, like, 10, it's, you just, I know 700 subscribers to some people's, like, get over yourself, you've got 700 subscribers, shut up, um, but to me, I actually am just so pleased, and I'm so thankful to everyone who subscribed, but that's, that's it in my little rant, um, thank you very much, for watching this video if you did listen this far i doubt many of you will um please do like and subscribe to the channel it will be uploading not a lot more um but yeah thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next video in a bit